you make $500, of which $200 is yours. You get $200 and out of a $12 investment. Our team can get the job done because we have done the research. We have experimented and we have made the adjustments. We have done the work. We know what to do. Our biggest obstacle is just finding enough customers. We know that this is because there are not that many people that are shopping. Or what they do is go to the store and buy something. But we have no alternative. So all that you have to do is invest. Welcome. Question and object objections. So you might be asking yourself, how do you know that you're going to sell 100 books? Well, out of 20 people, five more are booked. So out of 100 people, 25. So out of 400, 100. So all we have to do is only get 400 people to see or hear about our book, and at least 100, 100 more. Thank you. Quite the deal here. 
right? So, so you just bumped it up quite a bit from uh, you know under under 50% profit to now over 50% profit share for 12 dollars. Okay, that's a pretty good deal. Now, tell me how you, you said you think you're going to sell 100 books, right? And you need to talk to 400 people. Tell me how you're going to do that. Kind of the price range that you're seeing. Okay, so 
if each book costs about a dollar something, we're selling it for eight bucks, there's about almost six dollars and seventy cents of profit uh, to be made here. Why are you only giving me twenty five percent? That seems kind of low to me. <laughs> Thank you. 
we have increased our awareness, we will see how many we sell. We sell, and we will, and we will sell at least three for every one dollar that you invest in my book. There will be a total cost of two sixty to make each individual book on the book package. There is that is the cheapest website I've ever found. I already found six customers that are going to buy the book, and that's already about sixty-seven dollars in profit, which for $25, you'll get 5% 5% every book that we sell. So you're making about $2 for every book that we sell. So are you in or not? Uh, <laughs> in or not? So, so, so a couple, couple of questions. Maybe. So, so before I decide to say yes, I'm going to do this, um, there's a couple of things that, that I want to get clear. Um, first off is this idea of education and, and opening it. Um, why that topic? Well, what, what's, what's special about that topic that you think that there's going to be a readership for something like that? Well, because right now not many people know about Acting Academy, and Acting Academy is trying to go bigger and change the world, and so the more people who buy the book, the more popular it will Okay. And do you think that there's a lot of parents out there that are looking for, for alternative education? Is that essentially what we're talking about here? Yeah, because right now there is a lot of concerns about education with uh, public schools and private schools, and it's starting to become a really big issue. Okay, and so you want to sell these books for ten ninety nine? Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So almost eleven dollars. It costs you two dollars and sixty cents to make this book, right? Um, and so, uh, but you said that you were going to give me five percent of the profit, right? Sure. Five percent. of Five percent of every book. Okay, so how many how, how many how many books are we selling right off the bat? Ten. Uh, about fifty. You think you can sell fifty right off the bat? Yes. Now, how are you going to do that with my twenty-five dollar investment and it costs two dollars and sixty cents to do that? That can only produce ten books. <laughs> I meant to say a fifty dollar. Oh, so now okay, so you oh. double my. Oh.
10 books or 20 books or whatever you want to do, right? And then you still made 50 bucks. Not a bad deal, right? Yeah. And then from there, we'll, we'll, we'll split the revenue to the main Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good, doesn't it? That sounds like a good deal. <laughs> All right, good job. Thank you.
Ah, so now with my $434 investment, we really don't have more than the books, do we? We do. How so? If there's 100 books at $6.50, that should be $650. We actually did go through the process and place the order, and it was $434 for 100 books. Okay. Because the discount for the bulk uh, number. Oh, so you got some sort of price break through volume. Okay. So it actually does cost $4.34. Yeah, to, to, to produce one book. And you're going to sell it for $13, correct? So that would tell me, if my math is correct, that would tell me that I would make about $8.60. Yes. So $8.66 correct. to be exact. So if I make $8 or something out of 100 books, shouldn't the profit actually be $866? Yes, we actually did the math wrong because I didn't take into account the bulk uh, uh, discounts. I just did it by one book. Okay. So yes, the so good thing I know math, yes. so that so that we can make sure that I get my fair share of the split here, right? Because you said you'll give me half of the money. Correct? Half, definitely. Okay, so I'm not splitting 650. I'm splitting 866 dollars, correct? Yes. So I should get, if I do the math correctly, 433 dollars. Yes. <laughs> One dollar under. But, yeah, so now I'm but also, All right, the ahead. book, there will be more sales because the, the popularity will grow faster with each book sold because people, like I said, who will send also, please tell your friends about this book. You'll send kind of a little ad bookmark for them to know to pass it on to other people so it'll grow more and you'll make more money. Yeah, but I'm not very excited, right? Because I gotta wait for you to sell 100 copies of this, which could take some time. Right? In the meantime, I gave you $434, but I only got to get back $433. And you guys didn't put any money into this, and you just made $433. But we're not giving you half of the profit, we're giving you half of the revenue. Oh, that's a different story. Okay, you're giving me half of the revenue. Okay, okay, now let's, let's redo the math on that then, okay? So that means that you're gonna actually give me, um, so your, your revenue should be 13, roughly $1,300, correct? Right? And you're giving me half of it. Yes. Which is the 650 that you came Oh, okay, okay, okay. I like this a lot better. Like this, <laughs> this is a much better deal. Okay, so out of uh, the 100 units sold, I would actually get $650, which means that I would cover my cost that I gave you to produce these books. And on top of that, I made a and $220 profit. Which is more than other people are offering. That's true. That's true. But that assumes, however, right, that you sell all 100 books, right? The other ones are a little bit lower risk because they're only trying to sell 10 books, and the investment's less. Yes. Right. But we are sure we're going to sell that many books because right now the education book market is really high mm -hmm. in popularity and booming. And people are starting to. <coughs> Yeah, but is, is it 10 times bigger than uh, the first book that I heard, which was they were only going to sell 10 of them? And you're trying to sell 100 of them. I understand that there's a market, but is the market that big? Yes, it definitely is. Uh, you can look at books like Unschooling Rules, which got very popular relative in a good time span because people wanted to learn more about education. But there's some people, like I said before, don't know about it at all. Okay, okay. So what happens after the 100 books? What are you guys going to do after that? We're going to be you, you used to call them $650. Oh, we're out of time. We're out of time. You're so cool. What's up, guys? Yeah, I know. But we can't, we can't, you can't invest in us, but. What's that? I can't ask you. You can't ask you. Taking no risk because we already have 10 pre-orders and the numbers go. If you invest 
you'll get a $3 royalty for every book, which will get you $30 in the first batch. Imagine this. It's 10 years from now. You're at a party at your friend Bob's back club. It's a perfect day and nothing is going wrong. But all of a sudden, you start to see military vehicles start to pass. You start to hear the propellers of a helicopter, copters, and jets fly into the city. You try to push the thought out of your mind. You forgot about it, and the day goes on. When you're leaving Bob's house, you see a huge explosion. You freak out and jump in your car. As you speed home, you turn on the radio, and you hear the fuzzy voice of the news lady wear out that there's a new plague that is bringing the dead back to life and is infecting the world. You hear the, jump, you hear the door bust open and the news lady scream. You freak out and speed up even more. You slam the door. You bust the door open when you get home. You have, you have a quick thought and remember the book you bought five years ago and pack it in your bag. You pack up, you pack up the zombie. <laughs> you pack up all of your weapons and some clothes. You head to your car, but you get cut off by a herd of zombies. You take out your sword and lift it neck high and spread to your car and drive away from the city. You find a group and end up surviving. The reason you survive is because you have the knowledge. I only have one more question for you. Will you be ready? <laughs> <laughs>
What are we doing with that profit? Why am I only getting thirty dollars of that hundred twenty? Because are you are you pulling that on me? You, you, you know, are you splitting with a zombie? What, what's going on? Here? <laughs> Okay, so how much are we reinvesting versus why not give us our money back? So why not you get back your, your, your $14.75, I get back my $14.75, and then that leaves us maybe about 80 bucks. We leave some money to produce the next 10, and then we take the rest. Well, why am I only getting 30 bucks total? Because we only invest. No, 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 spend money on swords and bullets <laughs> and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to need a little bit higher margin here. I guess you could make it go up around 80. But me and Paige have to split half. Paige and I have to split half of that. Paige is not here. Let's just cut him out of the wheel. <laughs> Paige is not here. Let's just make it so you and me. First off, thank you. I think it's a very interesting topic. Uh, I do believe that the world needs to be smaller in terms of us understanding what's going on globally. So I, I share your passion and your vision for what you're trying to do with this book. Uh, work with me on the math there a little bit. Uh, $24 uh, to produce a book. How many books does that produce? Uh, 10. 10. Okay. 249. Uh, 249 to produce $2.50. Okay. And. Uh, 60. 60-40 with who? Who gets the 60? Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right, I like the way you think. All right, so I get 60. I like the way you think. I'm going to work on that. I already said 60 for me. Oh, 60 for you. I don't like that as much. All right. So, so let's talk about that a little bit uh, real quick. So that's good for you. How 
much are you selling these books for? Uh, $8. $8 a piece. So uh, total revenue is going to be $80 for the first 10 books. Um, you're asking me for $40, yes. correct? Uh, but you're only going to give me 60% of, of, I'm sorry, you're going to keep, you're going to give me 40% of profit or of revenue? Uh, profit. Of profit, okay. So you're going to sell these, you're going to sell it for a total of $80. It costs you $24, almost $25 really to make that. So there's a profit of about $55, of which I get 40% of. So you're saying I get $22 back for my $40 investment. Um, would you take this deal? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you said that because I would love for you to take the deal. I'll take the 60, you take the 40, you put $40 for this and I'll make it a business. Sounds like a great idea. Sounds like a great idea. I'm so glad you're willing to take the deal. So, so when you when you think about this, right? I don't think I don't think we would we would do business this way, right? Yeah. So, so if you were in my seat, right, and you would say yes to this deal, you probably go out of business pretty quick, right? Yeah. And I didn't get to be Mr. Wonderful, right, by giving away deals all the time and not not making any money, right? So, if I'm going to give you forty dollars and you're going to produce those books, first off, I'm going to need my forty dollars back as soon as you make money. So out of the eighty dollars, uh, uh, the fifty-five dollars of profit, I need my forty dollars back first. That only leaves us fifteen dollars, right? Only leaves us fifteen dollars for us to split. Whether it's sixty, forty, you, me, it doesn't even matter at that point. But it doesn't sound like a very good business model, right? Yeah. What, what have you done in terms of research? And maybe your book needs to be priced differently. Uh, well, I look. There's this book is mostly aimed towards. Kids. She's kind of doing a simple explanation. Okay. So I think it'll sell well. Okay. But, but why would we sell it at such a low, low, low price? Because it's expensive. Yeah. You don't get a professional written so, you know, person who's traveled all over the world. I you agree. I agree. Yeah. Stuff. I mean, you spent a lot of money. Well, your parents spent a lot of money for you to travel around and learn about these other countries, right? Yeah. Isn't there some value there? Yeah. Right. How, how many other people here can write books the way you write books about all these countries that they've been to? I don't know. Not very many, right? <laughs> Not very many, right? So, so for this book and this value, don't you think we could sell it for more money? Yes. Okay, good. But I want to start at a low price so that, see, if it sells well at a low price, we could probably get more sales uh -huh. at a low price. But don't you think it's easier to start with a high price if it doesn't sell this kind of down? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it sells well, yeah. and then I can raise it. 